They think yeah. Kathy, nasty comments, copyrighted material, or even offensive pictures. There are several things that can get you thrown into Facebook jail. This is when a social media company bans you from sharing anything on the site. Yeah. Apparently, you don't even have to do anything <laughs> wrong, really, to get booted off. Could be an accident. Amy Davis is here with one woman's story and what to do to make sure you don't lose all your precious photos and other stuff you may have accumulated. Over. Yeah, because you think it's not a big deal until it happens to you. Right. Jules Childers is a longtime Houston firefighter, but on September 10th, Facebook had her pegged as a terrorist, and for almost a month, the company disabled her account with no explanation. Chance and I wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful Saturday. Jules Childers' Facebook feed gives you a peek into her sunny personality. <laughs> Those who know me know Chance is a big part of my world. Come on. Those pictures dominate her timeline. But on the eve of the anniversary of 9-11, this 29-year Houston firefighter wanted to honor those who lost their lives by changing her cover and profile photos. Any one of us in the fire department, um, we all, it could have been us. She posted this picture of two blue lights illuminating the sky where the twin towers once stood. Then this one of the towers after the first attack. Seconds later, my whole Facebook page went blank and a window popped up and I was told to log back in. When she did, she got this message. Your account has been disabled. I've never been in Facebook jail, so to speak. I've never even been issued a warning. Now Childers was blocked from the site. Facebook requested a copy of her ID, like a birth certificate, driver's license, or social security card to verify her identity. But even after she sent what they asked for, a month passed with no response. They have all, all of your pictures. They have all of your information. You have nothing. I lost everything. When I reached out to Facebook, a spokesperson replied, technology helps us find and remove terrorism content, but it's not always perfect. Facebook gave Childers her account back. I would tell anybody, download what you have, because if they're going to disable your account, you're going to find that you have nothing. Yeah, during that month, Childers was also banned by Instagram because that site's owned by Facebook. The bottom line is Facebook is not a right. The site doesn't have to let you on. You have to play by their rules. And you give up your property like pictures when you upload them to the site. That said, there is a way to go into your account right now and save everything you've ever posted. So on Click to Houston, we're walking you through those steps to help you save your information. It's interesting because, yeah. as you said, if people have to give over such personal information to get back on, will they even go for it? I mean, she did in this case. She did. And then if she's someone's like, asking you okay. for your ID and this other stuff. And now she'd like to know, what did you do with all that information That's that I sent you? true. You know? yeah. I, I emailed you a picture. Where's that picture? Right. How yeah. many servers is that on? Right. Yeah, yeah. very true. Good question.